Facebook has agreed to pay the French government 106 million euros in back taxes to settle a dispute over revenues earned in the country. The payment covers the last decade of its French operations from 2009. The social networking giant has also agreed to pay 8.5 million euros in taxes on revenues in France for 2020. That's 50% more than in 2019. Well, joining us now from Fraunfeld in Switzerland is Frank Jürgen Richter, who is the chairman of Horasis. Um, uh, what do you think the significance is of this sum? I mean, in terms of the hit that it represents to Facebook, is it significant at all or not? Well, it's not a big surprise. I think we all expected this settlement and uh, the other US tech companies like um, uh, Google, Apple uh, and Amazon reached similar agreements. I think it's a good settlement for Facebook. Um, some analysts expected a much higher um, uh, taxation uh, and fine. And it's good for Facebook in terms of its public image. Um, uh, Zuckerberg, um, the founder of Facebook, changed strategies and say, now we have to collaborate with the uh, tax authorities in Europe. They know that things will change. And finally, uh, this settlement, uh, this local settlement with the French government uh, will lead to a pan-European settlement, I guess. I was just going to ask you about that, whether you think it will give a bit of momentum, because France went ahead with its own digital tax, didn't it? Because uh, there was a failure to get a Europe-wide agreement on such a, a tax. Well, it's not easy to find a Europe-wide settlement. Of course, we've got Ireland, we've got Luxembourg, some of the Nordic countries. Uh, they offer special uh, tax deals to the uh, tech companies. Uh, but it will be uh, a tit for tat and uh, a compromise at the end of the day, like always um, in Europe. France actually is not alone. Also, Spain and Italy uh, have similar initiatives. Uh, Germany originally as well. Germany actually is quite waiting in a waiting position right now. They fear sanctions by uh, President Trump. Of course, the car industry, uh, Germany is very much depending on exports. Um, so Germany is waiting, but um, uh, finally, I think the European-wide settlement and the sales tax will come after the US election. Nobody wants to pick a battle right now. And in terms of the fact that this digital tax in France, and if there were to be a European-wide one on these big tech companies, will um, antagonize the current US administration, certainly. Um, what do you think that would mean for the general relationship between the US and France, or indeed the whole of Europe? Right. So, um, uh, you know, we have to see that uh, President Trump is not necessarily a friend of um, Californian-based tech companies. So the question is really, how far will he go? Will he really impose uh, tit for tat taxes on um, uh, European manufacturing companies. Um, I guess uh, he won't, um, and it won't um, uh, further antagonize uh, the relationship. Uh, the OECD is coming into play. The OECD got um, the task to find uh, a global solution, not only a European solution, and it's what will happen uh, at the end of the day. But um, I guess only uh, by next year. So don't expect any settlement uh, end by end of this year. Okay, uh, Frank Jürgen Richter from Harassis, thank you very much indeed. Thanks so much, Ben.